would have to feel so, uh, a landlord come and knock your door ah. on a Sunday morning. So. <laughs> you don't feel good. You don't feel good. You don't feel good when you want things to fix it, not fix it. You don't feel yeah. good. But you know, having a house, you take on that responsibility as a landlord, fixing yeah. your own thing, doing your own thing. Mm -hmm. And owning my own home um, gives me an ability, the appreciation of designing, creating stuff that I want to do, do things that I want to do in my own space. That's Nobody can tell me, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, um, just do just do my own thing and it just, mm -hmm. it, 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 it just gives me that independence. Yes. Independence of saying, all right, okay, so oh, this is mine. Mm -hmm. yes, and um, in the next 10 years, I can come back and say, this is mine. See me. Yes. And yes. Nobody can take and I can even say, all right, I've decided this thing, I'm going to sell it or I'm going to register to create res residual income mm -hmm. for myself. Mm -hmm. you understand? So, and it's a privilege. And it's a privilege to step and put a key in your door. Yes. And step in. <laughs> you can take a message from this. A lesson is there for somebody today. My name is Jeremy Mills, and today I will be sharing with you how I become a first time own Homer. Yes, yes, I just said it a first time own Homer. So I, I grew up um, from a tender age knowing my parents living in rent up houses and I, and I always aspire or want to be one day to own my own home so I just want to tune in and listen to this video as um, I share with you my experience of owning my home thank you stay tuned why people are excited today you know why I'm excited because I'm going to be interviewing a young man a first time homeowner and let me know all the struggles to get a home. I've done a video before, and if you look there, you'll see yes, first time homeowners in Jamaica. And the process is very tedious. And you know what, too? It's not everybody who apply get through. But this young man here, I'm about to interview, he got through. Before we go any further, you know, I'm just gonna show you a little bit of what is going on here for him. Bro, bro, give me some little, you know, <laughs> yeah, man, info the upon the little land. Yes, around this is a backyard. Yes. And you can see the box space is very big. Don't watch what I say right now because mm -hmm. in the future it's going to look very good. I, my cane, don't worry, my cane, because I get a lot of cane. Even though I don't eat much of the fries, you know. Yes. I don't eat much, but you know, a lot of people eat and enjoy mm -hmm. it. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey everybody, what's up? So, this is your boy, Joe Variety Inspired, once more. We have here joining me today, Mr. Jeremy. He's from St. Catherine here in Jamaica. Yes, all the Jamaicans big up on ourselves. Yeah, whether it's in the country or you're abroad. Yeah, man, you know, yeah, yeah. Yes, so for the fun foreigners, that is our way of greeting each other. But today, I just want to say thank you for taking the invitation to be here on this show. You know, and a lot of young people, if you are watching, I, I assure you that this message that you're about to receive is one that will inspire you, one that will help you to realize that you're not stuck in life. You know, you can go after your dreams, you can go after whatever it is that you have put your mind to. So, Jeremy, how about you? know, I'm good. But no one of the viewers. Well go on. Well, go on. Yeah. How are you? How are you? How is your heart? Yes, you know. But I do hope that at the end of the day, after watching this video, if your heart is not right, this interview will help to put you back in the right place. Upon reviewing this interview session though, I, I, I thought about the fact that there are, there are so many young people right now, right? They're out there and they're applying for a job. They're applying for some type of house, something to have a source of income or asset, or asset exactly, right? But the, the process seems so tedious and so they give up along the journey. For you, mm -hmm. the thought of having a house was, uh, I guess it was just merely a thought at the time, but it's no a reality. First time home owner, you know? So being a first time home owner, it, it must feel good, you know? So the, the, the thought that I had in mind was, how does it feel, you know, to have your own home? You know, what's the experience like? Alright, you know, I'm going to show another question and I will say, ah, how does it feel to uh, a landlord come and knock your door ah. on a Sunday morning? So, you know, feel good. You know, feel good. You know, feel good when you want things to fix it, not fix it. You know, feel yeah. good. 
But you know, having a host, you take on that responsibility as a landlord. It's yeah. my own thing, doing the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And owning my own home um, gives me an ability, the appreciation of designing, creating stuff that I want to do. Those things that I want to do in my own space that yes. nobody can tell me, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that. Mm -hmm. But you know, um, just, do, just do my own thing. And it just, it, 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 it just gives me that independence. Yes. Independent of say, all right, I can say, oh, this is mine. Mm -hmm. yes, and um, in the next 10 years, I can come back and say, this is mine. Yes, yes. Nobody can take and I can even say, all right, I've decided this thing, I'm going to sell it or I'm going to rent it out to create res residual income mm -hmm. for myself. Mm -hmm. yes, and so, and it's a privilege. And it's a privilege to step and put a key in your door. Yes. 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 Trust me, bro. When when I first heard that you had the um, um, home, I was like, you know, bro, that is a big accomplishment because a lot of people, and this is where we're just gonna be straight up playing. You apply to NHT and only not get nothing, right? Yeah, the Jamaicans may have talked to right now. Only apply and for how many years and apply only for years? Oh, they are only taking people with 500 points, 400 points. We tie that money in each day. We need to do something for the youths, right? And some people them just get fed up on the journey. And being fed up is one, but looking at also the economy, things not so right. So, what do expect? I look on Instagram one day, right? And the last, last <coughs> advisor that came on. Show the listing of the person who got to for silver so yeah, I did that too. video, right? And you can check it right there. And trust me, that's a beautiful housing scheme that they are building. But people who had that 500 points, they are the ones who got through. Mm -hmm. So for me, bro, I am here and I'm wondering what was it like, you know? Well, I shouldn't even ask that first. You thinking of having a home, right? At what age was it that you think? You decided to think about having your own home and coming out of your mommy house just to have your own. Alright, so at, at my age, when I was like around 22, I think it was a dream for most of us as siblings. Mm -hmm. It's four of us. Um, I am the third of four. Yes. And so um, it was a dream, and everybody wanted to know that, you know, growing up within it, have a home. Like we call it this at the roof of our head and yeah. uh, our one is we are not doing nothing like that. Like that. We know like a rent place and move from here so to move from there. So mm -hmm. and you know at one point I think in 2014 when my brother decided to migrate and you know I was the next one probably left in line to take up the slap in sub certain sense. You know the man of the house. Yes, yes. And uh, I thought about it, it wasn't something that I had conceptualized to say that okay at age 22 I wanted a whole house. I know for many young people and I would say that the first thing that you want to buy is a car and personally for me that was my intention to buy mm -hmm. a car first and you know I, I thought about it and stuff and my mother came to me with the idea and I looked at it and I said you know mama she has some she, 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 she has gone back to her heart a yeah. long time and yeah. she you know she has tried things are rough things rough you know mm -hmm. and if you can make a difference say all right put your foot forward and probably help that assist in a way yes. I think about it and say all right then the, at that time, the, what any she was offering was $5.5 million. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. $5.5 million. And when you look at the market and was like, okay, if I apply for the house of 5.5, I would never get a house. Mm -hmm. Because at the time, probably also said $10 million, $12 million, yeah. And those are two bedroom, one bedroom. I would never get it. My mother, with her amount of money, because of age, she wouldn't get certain amount of money to buy a house. So we started to say, all right, we'll venture on the open market to say, mm -hmm. see what first, probably selling back and you can purchase and stuff like that. That eventually work out. And then, you know, my mother said, you know, my grand um, she said, you know, there's a land selling for $2 million at St. John's site. And, mm -hmm. you know, you guys can consider it and think about it. And, and Mark, you know, I didn't want to come up here because they talk about, I rejected it because our water, light, you know, mm -hmm. whether they're like, but water and internet, it was like, oh God, why I'm coming here? So, but mm -hmm. water was there, light was there, they had a road. You understand? And you know, internet was <laughs> <laughs> internet was here, but you know, we said we we'll make the decision and just make step up, make step forward and just yeah. you know buy the piece of land and start the process. Mm -hmm. Because that was the only thing that brought us to the point that we started the process. Like, you know, you buy a piece of land and you just start build you go through energy because one would get a house through energy because the amount of money that energy was offering us. Mm -hmm. Two, we couldn't afford it on the open market because it was too expensive. Mm -hmm. So the only way we could have done it was buy a land 
which yes. was a cheaper rate, and then um, take the money from energy and construct a home. Wow. And it was a good project. Wow. You just carry a segue right into the next question. The question would have been what is it that you think is the best option going through NHT to get a house, to purchase a house, or to get a life mm -hmm. and just build on that life? Alright then. So, what I think is the best option, and I just want my view, the viewers to listen to me. So, mm -hmm. what I think is the best option, and the best option is based on the individual mm -hmm. and what do you want. Yes. Because and then you, you weigh all the pros and cons. Can you see where I say like we went to the open market? Yes. We we'll look at energy offered mm -hmm. and then we we'll look at um we we'll look at the buying a piece of land. Yes. yes. And so if you're with normally if you're with somebody, you have a partner and both of you guys are working, it will be good. It can be good for you to go try with energy to buy yes. um a house with energy. You can get it, it might get through. Yes. It's a possibility that you will get through. Mm -hmm. Because it's a joint, it's a joint so, venture. Yes. If that doesn't work out, don't give up. Mm -hmm. You can go on open market. Yes. NHC will provide you the funds to purchase the home. Mm -hmm. All right, that don't work out. Find a crap piece of land. Yes. You must can get it. But and I've start seeing NHC giving out some land in Clarendon recently. Mm -hmm. Now recently in Elsha, and they were mm -hmm. selling for a reasonable cost. And don't think about. I have tried first. Don't think about getting the, the big bedroom. Two bedroom or the three bedroom with your garage, go for it you have it. Yeah. Your kitchen covered them mm -hmm. in and everything, you're well titled. Better you start a little by little. Yes. Step That's by small. step. And then you build and you, you you'll be surprised to know in five years, two years time. Yes. The house that you started with was a one bedroom, a little kitchen and a one bathroom turned to a three bedroom. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, a nice and thing here. A mansion. A mansion. You, you understand? Mm -hmm. Which one? But it takes yes. baby steps. Baby steps to get there. And then when you get there, you will stand there. Many nights I'll finish what I'm moving my living room when I was standing. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting now and I was standing and look up in the ceiling and I was like, ah, uh, this has been a great investment. Because wow. at the end of the day, when I look, the land in the current in this community is selling for $4.5 million. Mm -hmm. If we had made the investment four years ago, mm -hmm. it would have been. Uh, we couldn't afford it now. That energy doesn't give four million dollars to purchase a land. Mm -hmm. So think about your decision as 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 first you want to own a home. Think about what you want and take something you got to take risk. Mm -hmm. You got to take risk because those risks will benefit you in the long run. Having an asset, especially a home in Jamaica, is very important. Yes. A car is good enough, but we tell what the difference between a car and a home. Tell them. A car um, devalues. Mm -hmm. A car devalues a yes. house. Value, the value can wow. tank, they go up. Yes, it's not like in the it's not like in the US because in the US and the market in the US, the house doesn't it doesn't if the economy dip the up the market the price of the house can dip as well. Mm -hmm. But in Jamaica, real estate doesn't go down. Real estate is one of the thing assets that are constantly yes. rising, constantly rising. And the more development you have, more infrastructure in those areas, mm -hmm. the price of your house will constantly go up. Yes, you know, you're speaking, you're preaching, you know, bro. <laughs> Preaching man, I tell you, what I tell you earlier, I tell you tell us that brother have some wisdom, they have some information for children. Yes, he's young but he has a lot of knowledge. For all my faithful subscribers, bless up, big up, thank you for stay tuned to a new video each and every week. You know, the likes, shares and surprises that you always give me with people coming on and subscribing, I truly appreciate it. Big up on yourself. If you're buying a house on the open market, you got to look at what you, oh, your life you want your life to be in the next five years, ten years, and so. But tell you the truth, I we got an offer for a house on the open market, which was in near Comedy, where we were living in Pomore. And if everybody knows, living in Pomore is so close proximity to Kingston, yeah. so it's like it's easier to back and forth from Pomore. But when we look at it, it was a nice upstairs and downstairs house, and, and um, but there wasn't any space addition. There was any yard space just inside of the house and all that. And for a person who has family and kids, it's good to have a yard space. And a person who loves a little party now and then, mm -hmm. and have a little gathering at them, at them, yes. at them house, and would love to have a little backyard sitting with them, can have a little, I don't know, a little party with them, can meet with them, friends, drink, have a little nice time, and stuff like that in the evening. It's it's best, nice. yeah, especially those who are Saturday night, you know, we as Adventists, we love to meet and greet oh, on yes. a Saturday night. Oh, yes. And you know, yes. because COVID is there, you know, we can't go away. So you know, sometimes we have to invite a little friend over and we have a little mm -hmm. set, you know, we can meet and greet. Mm -hmm. And when they have a host and place that here, they can have that little set, it's very good. 